How do you do? I'm Barnabas Collins. I've just arrived from England. I understand my sister is here and that she's expecting me. How do you do, Cousin Barnabas? We've been expecting you. I'm Samantha Collins. My pleasure to meet you. Is my sister here at the moment? No, she hasn't arrived yet. Won't you please come to the drawing room? This is Flora Collins, a cousin, your son, Desmond. Allow me to introduce you to Barnabas Collins, I, Julie's brother. I, I, I think I would have known you even without an introduction. You bear such a great resemblance to that portrait of your father in Ben's room. He was such a striking man. Oh, well, thank you. I apologize. I, I had the feeling that uh, I came at an inopportune moment. I'm sorry, Cousin Barnabas. We're all terribly upset tonight. My sister, Roxanne, has been attacked by a wild animal in the woods. Oh, how awful. I'm sorry to hear that. I can't understand why we haven't heard anything. That might be a good sign. It could mean that there's still hope. Oh, my dear. You look so tired. No, no, I intend to stay here until I hear something. Cousin Barnabas, your sister is here. Julie, your brother is arrived. Oh. <laughs> we, we didn't know what happened to you. Dear Julia. Oh, it's so good to see you. Did, did you. did you have a good trip? Yes, fine. It's a very smooth crossing. Julia, you're shivering. Do you have any brandy? Oh, yes, of course. She got out of the house. I'll tell you how later. What about the hypnosis? I don't know. I wasn't able to finish it. I don't know if it worked or not. We'd better go in. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Julia, where have you been? Oh, I was at the old house. Uh, ben took me there earlier today. Gerard came there while I was there. He told me about Roxanne. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear it. You still haven't heard anything? No, not yet. Oh, mm. Julia, you haven't met my son, Desmond. Desmond, this is Julia Collins. Hello. Thank God upstairs. she's alive. Let's, let's get her upstairs, then I can examine her. You? Roxanne, you're going to be all right. Yes, I'm a doctor. Come. Oh! Oh! Can you tell us what you mean? I, I know, I know I was waiting for him. Who were you waiting for, darling? Who? Oh, oh. Let's, let's, come on. Let's get her, let's get her upstairs. She's now so hysterical and she'll... Her reaction to you was puzzling, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Is this your first trip to this country? Yes, it is. It does seem strange that she singled you out. She must have had some reason. Uh, does Roxanne come to Collinwood often? Yes, quite a bit. Well, I understand there's a well-known portrait of my father somewhere here. Perhaps she associated me with him. It does seem an odd association under the circumstances. But perhaps you're right. Excuse me, I'll go see how she is.
Well, Julia? I've given her a sedative. But the hypnosis, did it work or didn't it? We don't know yet. We won't know it yet until she's fully conscious. Barnabas, I think you should leave the house. Just to be safe, I'll tell them that you've gone into town to get your luggage. Yes, I think you're right. If her memory hasn't been erased, I don't want to be here. Julia! Julia! Roxanne! Is it's awake! Where's Barnabas? She was talking. She told me something that just terrified me. What did she tell you? After she left Beth Collinwood last night, and went home. She was expecting to meet someone. Who was she expecting to meet? I don't know. After that, she can't remember anything that happened to her at all. Why is it we never knew we had relatives in England? I don't know, Desmond, and I'm tired. Well, think of it, Mother. I mean, Two strange people show up claiming to be members of the family. Two people who make quite an odd pair. All right. What are you talking about? Now, I want you to forget these silly, silly superstitions and, sus and suspicions. We, we travel is supposed to broaden the mind, not narrow it. And Barnabas is a very charming man. Very well, Mother. No lectures, please. <laughs> That's more like my darling.